Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sam117 and I'm doing a review for the PS3 controller as you can see <laughs> so the PS3 controller is it a bad controller? actually it's pretty much the same as the PS2 controller um, unfortunately I don't have good equipment for doing these kind of reviews but whatever so let's do a review So, this is my review of the PS3 controller. <laughs> I had to do, redo this because I forgot I still can get used to filming with the smartphone camera. But anyways, let's go on with the show. Ah, goddamn. So, here it is, the famous PS3 controller. Or the PlayStation 3 controller. It's a DualShock 3 controller and a plus a 6-axis controller. And I think this controller is pretty fine. Some people, actually, a lot of people didn't like this controller for many reasons, but I will explain them later. Anyways, so basically, this is a basic PlayStation DualShock controller. Uh, it's the same as the PS1 and DualShock 1, DualShock 2 controller. Uh, but the only difference is it's a lot different from DualShock 4 controller. But it, you can already know that. Anyways, here are the analog sticks, they, they pretty work fine, here are, there are, here are the d-pad buttons, here are the select and start buttons, they work the same way, here are the coloring buttons, or the action buttons, square, triangle, circle and X, here are the R1 and L, the R1 and L1 buttons, and here are the triggers. And that's the new feature for the controller, the triggers, and also the PlayStation button. Uh, with the PlayStation button, as you, as you can see, you can... You can turn on the P PlayStation console, and as you can see, the light turns on and shows which controller is on. I only I only own a one uh, PlayStation con PlayStation 3 uh, <laughs> DualShock controller because uh, the DualShock 3 controllers are really expensive, and I have one better life, so I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna turn off the, my PS3 real quick, so my PS3 controller battery doesn't die. <laughs> so a lot of people don't like this controller, uh, mainly because for a few reasons. The triggers, the L, the L, L2 and R2 triggers. I don't know why people don't like these triggers because I played the Red Dead, the Red, Red Dead Redemption, a uh, really old game from Rockstar, and it uses uh, the game uses triggers. And I never had problem with triggers aside from first person shooters. I never had a racing game for the PS3. I want to get Gran Turismo 5 to test more, but the triggers are actually pretty fine if you can get used to them. Uh, and another feature that people don't like are the six axis motion controls. And uh, games like Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, even Last of Us at, the si at some point uses uh, six axis motion controls. But I think that's a pretty neat feature. It's actually it kind of is ridiculous, but it is what it is. But my my personal nitpick is that this controller can easily break. So if you guys uh, this if you guys want want to want to be careful with this controller because this controller is not that strong like the Xbox 360 controller or the PS4 controller. So be careful with this controller. It can easily break as much as the DualShock 1 and DualShock 2 controllers. So clean it up as much as you like. And another thing I want to mention is the battery life. The battery life of the DualShock 3 controller is okay. It actually runs pretty smoothly. It is long battery life. I know, I don't know, I think it runs for 40 hours. The DualShock 3 controller as well. Oh, it's, if it's not wired, 
And one thing I really like about the DualShock 3 controller and DualShock 4 controllers is that it uses a USB cable uh, to charge up the controller. So uh, that's one thing I like about more. That's why I like DualShock 2 controller more than Xbox 360 controller is because uh, the 360 controller uses AA batteries to run the controller wirelessly, but the uh, DualShock 3 uses uh, an USB cable to charge up the battery life for DualShock 3. So that's my take on DualShock 3 controller. Uh, what do you guys think about the controller of DualShock 3? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this review, this short review, then let me know in and like this video, share it and, uh, with other people, and don't forget to subscribe. I might do reviews for technologies or control or games or whatever. So yeah, we shall see in the future. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video.